Hey, my lovely Aries, sorry about that. I don't know what the hell happened, but I don't wanna lose what I said, so here's your part two, which keeps happening. Um, I think the one from last night was due to spirits interrupting because I was seeing orbs and whatever, and the energy was just very high. But this time, I don't know, I think it was a YouTube problem because then it wouldn't let me re-record, and I'm like, what the hell? I don't even remember what I was talking about. It had to do with the dark night of the soul and processing through um, you know, our inner issues and whatever. So we're just gonna move on from that because apparently I said what I need to say about, you know, facing shit head on. And I feel like a lot of you are facing it head on, you know, while you're awake, but there are some of you who it comes to you in your dreams so that it's easier for you to process through. But I feel like it's confusing for some of you. So if you're having nightmares like that, especially with shadow people and you're just like, why do I keep having these recurring nightmares or nightmares that have a lot of similarities, even though they're different? Because it's something that your brain's trying to process through, like um, trying to make you aware of so that you can face it and let it go, basically. Um, that's definitely not for everyone. And I do feel like that could be part of the problem in love for you guys, um, if you're dealing with that, is there's an aspect of yourself that you're not you're not ready to face or you're not ready to let go of because I was talking about addictions and you have to be ready in order to go through rehab and be fully rehabilitated without relapse. Um, it's the same way for, you know, getting in touch with yourself and facing your inner demons, you know, <clears throat> but I feel like a lot of you are achieving your goals. You're kicking ass. Um, you're kicking life's ass basically. I feel like you're doing well financially, like you can pay your bills and you're getting by and in a more comfortable manner than you were previously for most of you. I mean, some of you are just totally fine financially, but I'm picking up on some who, you know, like I said, you can pay your bills and do a few extra things, but you, you wish you could have a little bit more so that you could go on vacation and, you know, buy the extra shit that you want to buy kind of stuff. Um, I feel like you'll get there. You're getting there. Just don't overwork yourself. And if you need a break, take a break. You only get the, to live this life one time. So, you know, don't forget to be happy. Don't forget to enjoy life. You know, it's not all about work. What do they say? You work to live, not live to work, you know? So kind of keep that motto going so that you can oh, breathe and relax because I feel like I might be tapping into some workaholics. Um, okay, is this on? Is that person B? Because I kind of feel like that's you. That's you. It's funny, I was talking about being healthier and drinking water. It says, eat your fucking vegetables. Eat some shit made by Mother Nature. So I feel like some of you are changing your eating habits um, or needing to. And now that we're moving into spring and it's warmer weather, I feel like people are going to be more active, um, you know, going out for a walk, cycling, doing whatever you like to do, because I feel like I'm talking to people who don't really like to go to the gym to work out. Maybe you don't like to work out in front of other people, or you just don't like the gym setting. And due to COVID, you know, it's like, do I really want to touch the other machines that everyone else sweated on and all that crap? I'm kind of feeling that for some, but there are some of you that don't care. You're just going to the gym anyways, because that's your thing. That's your gig. You're all about a healthy lifestyle or getting back on track and getting into a healthy lifestyle. Because I feel like that's what's kind of surrounding you and your person. You might meet this person at the gym or while you're out on a walk or a hike or whatever. Um, out, out and about, I feel like some of you are meeting new people. And others of you are just getting your body ready for the summer so that you can meet new people. I just feel like summer bod, bathing suit bod, you know, whether you're a male or a female. And a lot of you, it's not really about your looks. Some of you, that's the case. That's why you're doing it. I feel like most of you, it's, you know, you just want to treat your body right and you want to be healthier. And I feel like your person, your love interest is kind of doing the same thing. Even if you guys aren't talking, you guys are mirroring each other. I don't know if you're talking like through the ethers and it's like your person is picking up on your energy going, well, Aries is working out, so I better get my ass in shape too. I don't know. I, I kind of feel a connection there. Um... And the healthier you are in your physical form, the more apt you are to pick up on, you know, 
spirit and um, just the energies around you because you're like detoxed and clear and clean. I don't know, something like that. Um, whoa, I'm getting the tingles all of a sudden. So yeah, take care of yourself, especially if that's what you're trying to do. If you're trying to tap in water. It's a conduit for one, so the more water you drink, the healthier you are, and you're just a giant fucking dowsing rod, <laughs> like, you know, and energy surrounds you, is what I'm feeling, so that might help if you are trying to do spirit communication, or even read tarot and just um, get messages for yourself, whether you do it for others or not, um, I just feel like we need to be healthier, but on person A's side, like I'm reading as you, but you could be B, it says rebel, because fuck it. And I've gotten this for a few signs. I think Scorpio got it. I can't remember who else. Maybe Sagittarius. But and then we have on person B's side, get the fuck outside, move your ass. Your body is pissed at you. I'm telling you, person B might be the one that really needs to get off their ass and start getting motivated, get some fresh air, and, you know, get, get the blood circulating, get your heart pumping, person B, something like that. But I kind of feel... Like, that's something you and this person could do together when you meet or when you come together or back together, depending on your situation. Most of you know this person, um, but you don't really see them much. You definitely don't see them face-to-face. -face. I feel like communication is very sparse, if at all. Um, yeah, you don't really say much. You might talk about exercising, working out, or needing to. Just improve... I don't know, it's body image, big time for Aries is what I'm feeling. So either some of you are just not feeling good in your own skin um, and you want to change that because you want to lose weight and look better or because that's not for everyone because I feel like the majority of you who want to be healthier, it's because you want to be healthier. Whether, you know, you have an underlying health issue or not, you want, it's like preventative care. I just feel like... I feel like I need to do this for myself. So you're treating yourself with, you know, being healthier. Some of you are even going vegetarian or vegan. Um, not all of you, because I know that there are a lot of, a lot of you are going to be like, I'm a meat eater, go fuck yourself. I want steak, I want chicken, which is totally fine. I'm a meat eater, but um, there are a lot of people that do the vegetarian diet. The Mediterranean diet just popped in my head, so that might be something that some of you are going to try. I hear it works really well, especially if you stick to it. But just remember, it's not dieting. It's a lifestyle change. So when you start doing that, look at it from that standpoint. You know, you want to be healthier, and this is my new lifestyle. Because if you look at it from a diet, a dietary stance, like, oh, I'm on a diet, it makes for some reason, it makes you think like, oh, this sucks, you know, I can't have that, I can't do that ever again. And that's what deters people. So it's a lifestyle. So a lot of you are doing that. But I feel like person A, you're saying fuck it to something. Um, I feel like maybe some of you have been waiting to look a certain way to change something about yourself or your environment before you speak up, before you reach out to your love interest and you're like, nope. Now or never because, you know, why wait? Why do I have to wait until I lose weight? Why do I have to wait? Why am I setting these standards or these strict guidelines for myself? I'm not waiting anymore. Fuck it, you know. I'm doing what I want to do. I'm happier. I'm taking more time for myself when I didn't before. Now I'm going to make time for my lover. And your lover needs to get their butt moving. And I kind of feel like you might motivate this person, especially if you come back into their life. Because person B kind of seems a little unmotivated at the moment. But I feel like they're more of a thinker. Like they're thinking about making better choices, but they're not doing it. <laughs> you know, like I'm planning what I need to do. And I'm just, I've been in planning mode for a few years now, you know. Um, spirit saying, get the fuck out of planning mode, person B, and get your ass motivated. Now, move now. Like let's put this plan to action, no matter what that plan is, and I think it has something to do with the self and exercising and being healthier. Make those healthy changes today, not tomorrow, because what if tomorrow never comes? Feel better now, not later. Something like that. But yeah, I feel like person A or you, Aries, you're like, let's do this. You know? I don't care if you need to drop 20 pounds. We'll do it together. I love you anyways. I love your little chubby butt. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I'm just being a smart ass. Maybe you guys are smart asses. 
Tantrums are for babies. Wah, wah. Grow the fuck up. I added the wah, wah in there. Having a hissy fit about making changes. <laughs> forgive. Not for them. Do that shit for you. Um, I feel like with forgive, I kind of feel like person B needs to forgive themselves for being lax, for not taking action in this situation, for, you know, not really being a go-getter. They're more of a planner, you know? Um, so person B, forgive yourself for not taking action with Aries or person A, um, you know, and for taking too much of a break because I kind of feel like person A is needs a break and person B needs to get off their ass. They need to stop taking a break because that's all they're doing. Um, and they need to forgive themselves for, for not moving, for not taking action. Because person B isn't really in the healthiest place, I'm just saying. I feel like their mental health is okay, but they're just kind of tired. Like, I don't have time for anyone because I, they're not taking proper care of themselves is what I'm feeling. Um, and they might be a little cranky because we have tantrums here. But I just feel like I didn't get my way, so eh, fine. Like, it didn't go according to plan. This situation, something went awry, you know, and you guys didn't come together. Possibly because person B wouldn't get off their ass and do their part. Um, I'm kind of feeling that maybe Aries or person A didn't do their part initially. And that kind of made person B give up. So now they're not doing anything at all. But now person A or Aries, you could be person B, who knows, is like, fuck it, I'm taking action. I'm going against the grain because fuck it, you know. Um, what do I want? Let's get a scenario. So why is Rebel on A, person A side or Aries? I feel like your feelings are in the dark. Whoops. Between each other. Half the deck flew over there. Are you saying fuck it with everything? Just like... I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm doing everything, I'm taking on the world. Um, yeah, I feel like you guys' emotions are whoosh, suppressed between each other. Neither one of you are acting very loving towards each other at all. Why am I even asking this deck for guidance? Blank would be a better use of my time. So someone's a little pessimistic over here on person A's side. Like, I already know what I need to do. Fuck it, I'm just taking action. Like, I don't even care about what advice the universe has for me. I know what I need to do for myself and for this connection. I need to get out of my head. Blank can change my outlook for person B. Yeah, this person definitely needs to get out of their head because I told you they're plotting and planning. That's all they're doing. It's, they're not even writing shit down. There's zero action on person B's side. It's all up in their head. Like, I, I need to do this. I should do that. You know, I want to call Aries. I want to talk to person A. But no, I'm just thinking about it, but I'm not going to do it. And person A is like, I'm going to fucking do it. Whatever. What's the harm in it? We're either going to move forward or we're not, you know? And if we're not going to move forward, I'll find someone else because I'm getting my sexy on. Like, I don't know. All right. Look, thank you. Wow. Yeah, I think person B cares too much about the opinions of others or what people think of them. But why am I even asking this deck for guidance? Taking a risk would be a better use of my time. Taking a fucking risk. Because fuck it. That's what you're doing. So either you or person A, whoever this is, is going against the, against the grain. They're saying, fuck it. I'm taking a risk. I'm going to call my person. I'm going to call my love interest. I'm going to say, hey, you want to go for a walk? Hey, you want to go do this? Hey, let's go get a bite to eat. Whatever, something. Let's do this. Because I'm sick of sitting here waiting for you to get off your ass and stop planning. You know, you're in or you're out. And person B, I need to get out of my head. Giving zero fucks could change my outlook. This person needs to stop caring about what other pe people think of them, their life, their situation, whatever. Um, they need to start, they need to move their ass. I kind of feel like person A is going to jumpstart this connection. So that could be you, Aries. You might be like, fuck it, let's do this. Get your ass up, let's go. I'm sick of this mundane, merry-go-round bullshit that we've been on. 
let's go, let's go, let's go. You can cry in the car the whole way there, but you'll be happy once we get there. I don't know, something like that. Like, get out of your damn head. You know what I'm picturing is in the show Friends when um, this person, person B could be dealing with a heartbreak or trying to get over something from the past as well, which is why they're not so motivated. Um, and person A is like, get motivated. So she's like Monica. Person A is like Monica and Person B is Chandler when Janice broke up with him and he was all sad listening to Lionel Richie records and in his sweatpants and, you know, going through the phases of grief. And um, Monica's like, let's go, let's get working out, let's get up, get your, your blood pumping, let's lose that weight, let's look good, revenge bod, let's feel better. Hell, this could just be a friend of yours that you're trying that's trying to get you out of a fucked up headspace. Like, get over yourself, get over the past, give zero fucks. Let's do this. Don't be a wine ass. Let's go. I kind of feel like you're falling in love with your friend or you already have. So you might take a risk and come in as their friend and be like, as your friend, I am going to help you. Let's go. I don't care what you have to say. You're doing it. Like that's kind of what I feel. It's very take charge. But in doing that. I feel like it's going to put person B in a better headspace and get them motivated. And I almost feel like they're going to kind of fall in love with you through through this process. I feel like they have feelings for you anyways. They're just so caught up in, in their heartbreak, mutual, ener mutual energies, that they haven't pulled them. They haven't gotten up to do anything. King of Earth could be an Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. He's husband material, wife material. This is all about stability, um, being grounded, practical, taking a practical approach. I feel like you guys, or someone in this situation, probably person A, took a practical approach already. It didn't fucking work. So now we're going against the grain, is what I feel. Eight of fire, yeah, we're getting this shit motivated. We're getting it moving. You're trying to break down someone's walls, someone's barriers. You're being very strategic, or they are. It, there's love here, because then we have the Page of Cups. I almost feel like you might come in and be like, you know, I don't feel sorry for your stupid ass. You know, I'm sorry that we weren't talking, that it didn't get off the ground, that this didn't happen, that didn't happen, whatever, you know. But, you know, we can change that now. Get up, get out of your stupid Barker lounge or your recliner, and let's go. Um... I feel like this is very fast communication, fast movement. I mean, hell, you might even drive over to their house or they could drive over to yours and be like, I have a plan. We shall leave tomorrow. Something like that. Someone's afraid of their feelings. I feel like it's person B. But you're showing them not to give any fucks, <laughs> not to care. Like, you know, you got to let go someday. I'll help you let go. And in doing so, you guys are going to like fall for one another. Queen of Earth. We have the King and Queen of Earth now. You know, this is crazy. You guys are friends, but for some of you, I legit feel like this rebel energy is let's get hitched. Let's go to Vegas, baby, and have Elvis marry us. That's a small message, but someone's going to be that risky because we have wifey here now husband and wife like it's almost like it's been the plan all along like I'm gonna marry your ass anyways might as well do it let's go let's let's um you don't you only live this life once let's go let's do something exciting I kind of feel like that for some of you person a is totally leaving their wife or their husband if they're in a marriage I feel like they're going through a divorce anyways, but they might have wanted to try to rekindle whatever was going on, and it's like, nope, I don't want to. I want you. Get off your ass. Let's go. Um, so someone's really taking a risk. Like, I don't need anyone. I don't need advice from anyone. I'm doing it. I don't care. I love, I love this person. I'm going to hopefully make them not give any flying fucks about anything and just kind of go along for the ride this is fucking fast whatever it is like meet me at the altar baby i don't know that's crazy that's definitely not for everyone that's a small message for the most part i just feel like it's going over to someone's house or calling them up and being like let's go we're going on an adventure road trip bitch strength we have leo energy here this person's very resistant 
We have someone who's very gung-ho over here, like, let's get the ball rolling already. Stop crying. Stop being a little bitch. Let's go. And then the little bitch over here, person B, is like, no, I shall not go anywhere. I shall lock myself in the room. Yeah, they're sitting in some depression. They're just sitting around fucking watching you or fought, or watching person A. They're reserved. They're guarded. They've made a decision. It's like, I deserve this. This is kind of masochism energy over here. They care too much about everything. They're all sad with the five of oceans, feeling left out. But what they don't realize is you're sitting right here. Like, if they got off their rear end and put some pep in their step, took some action towards towards you or person A, they wouldn't be sad. You know, their two of cups is right in front of them, but they want to be a, a crybaby. And they just want to sit back and spy and watch and lurk and be a creeper in their pajamas. But that's just coming to an end. There's Scorpio energy here. I feel like there's a change approaching. I feel like you're the change honestly, or person A is a change, whoever's saying, screw it, we're doing it, um, it's going to really fire up person B and finally light a match under their ass, basically. Yeah, this is changing their ways is what I'm feeling. Yeah, because there's clarity here. I almost feel like this person was kind of waiting on person A. Like, person B is afraid to take the first move. So, person A is going to have to do it, is what this is. Like, person A is like, screw it, I'm doing it. And I feel like person B will follow suit. They're just, they're too afraid to leap first because they don't want to make a mistake and be rejected because they don't want to get hurt. They're already hurt. This person deals with depression and anxiety, I'm just going to say. Um, could be dealing with earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Leo, or, because we had double Leo with the sun and strength, or a Scorpio. We also have Gemini here. An Aries, Leo, Sag. We are in Aries. And Virgo, because now we have the Hermit. I mean, you're jumping out of your comfort zone, too. Person A is jumping out of a relationship, getting out of a karmic situation, or getting out of their loner energy, their comfort zone. Like, I want this bad enough to make a massive change out of the fucking blue is what this is. It's like, I'm going to, I'm quickly getting over myself and making a decision and moving towards you. Like, now. That's what this is. Three of Earth, because you want to work on things with them. You know that this is, you know that this could work, that you two are very similar yet different, which I get that energy a lot because a lot of times in soul connections, when there's a strong connection, there are a lot of similarities between each other. And I kind of feel like person A and B were in a very similar funk, but person A is sick of it. And like, I can't live my life this way, you know? And I'm, I'm going to take a risk to pull person B off the off the couch, out of their barca lounger, out of their fucking recliner. Even if they're kicking and screaming, having a tantrum the whole way, you're going to have fun. We're going to do this. Like, it's kind of forceful, but but it's needed because this person needs a, an ass whooping. They need a kick in the ass big time. Like, go. Stop being a creeper. Stop watching me. Stop watching person A. If fucking say something, let's go. Because the Nine of Oceans, the Nine of Cups is here. You're going to have a happy outcome with this. I feel like Person A has been strategizing. They've been planning. That's what this hermit energy is. It's like, you know, I might have pulled away and I've been quiet. But I've been thinking. Person B has been thinking too, but they haven't done shit. And Person A is like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. You make me happy, happy. Let's go. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. We have the King of Skies and the Queen of Skies. So we have counterparts twice. You two match each other very well. I almost feel like person A might be leaving their financial stability behind. Like if somebody's helping them or if it's like, if you're co, is it cohabiting, cohabitation? 
cohabiting, whatever. If you're living with someone, whether it's a roommate or karmic or ex or current partner or whatever person A is, if they are, they're leaving that stability because they're taking a risk for person B because they want that person so much more. You guys meet each other intellectually speaking. Like you guys think very similarly. I don't know. I feel like I can be honest with you about the craziest crap. Like the most random shit that pops in my head. I can tell you and you're not going to judge me. That's how you two feel about each other. But person B is more reserved. Like they know that they can speak their truth with you. But there are a lot of things you don't know or that person A doesn't know about person B because they're embarrassed by how much they how much they allow to get to them, like how bothered they are by certain things. This person's very lonely and they feel like they lost you. They feel like they lost person A, but they didn't because person A is right here and they're flying the fuck in. Yeah, person B is very reserved. They could be holding on to a situation for financial reasons. Both of you could be doing the same fucking thing. It's like being in loveless relationships. It's like being in a loveless relationship. You, like person A is and person B is, whether it's, like I said, a roommate, a karmic, an ex, a current partner, or you're literally in a relationship, in a commitment or marriage with someone you don't fucking love. And both of you could be in similar situations, if not the same damn one. And you're in love with each other. And person A is like, fuck it, I'm doing this now. I don't care. That's kind of what I feel. All right, because this is kind of weird energy. I mean, it's very, it's very driven. Like, you know, I've planned this out long. Like I thought about this long enough. I'm doing it. I'm going to look into the sexy, sexy cards real quick. Cause that went really fast, but, and I feel like this is going to move wicked fast. You're going to go from like zero to a fucking thousand Aries. Someone might even relocate for you or you for them because you just can't stand being away from this person. I feel like I just want to be there for you and I will be there for you. Take my hand, let's go. Something like that. I just thought, was that the fool? I don't know where it went. The devil. Capricorn energy, could be dealing with the Capricorn. There's fear, but what is this? Is this temptation? The five of swords, taking control, having the upper hand with the knight of wands oh there's sexual energy there maybe somebody just wants to get their rocks off and the six of cups nostalgia the past soulmate energy the three of coins again which is collaborating working together with the six of wands which is success and victory making a decision about a new beginning. Are you in or are you out? And I feel like, didn't I say that? Are you in or are you out? And then we have someone really thinking hermit mode. All right, let me move these cards so I can really get a good look at what's going on. And someone might say that, like, you know, let me look at all the facts here. Let me, like, let me just think about this for a little bit longer. And I kind of feel like person A or Aries is like, no, you can't think about it. You thought a lot, you thought enough. Either you want it or you don't. I kind of feel someone's in that fed up, fed up mode. So this, I feel like you've been going around and around with this person for a hot minute because if this is someone new, then you are acting the fool or they are because that's way too soon. I feel like you've known this person for a while and it's just, I can't wait anymore. I'm sick of fucking waiting. I just heard two and we do have the two of wands. So it could be two years, but both of you are sick of waiting for this new beginning. Um, I feel like with the devil here, someone, one of you, one of you, because I feel like Aries or person A, you know it's going to work. You have faith in this connection, faith in this person, and faith in yourself, because that's why you're taking this risk. It's a calculated risk, and if you didn't think it was a, vi a viable connection, or um, if you didn't think you would... If you didn't think you would win, like if you think you'd lose it at this at all, you wouldn't take this risk is what I'm feeling. Um, so you're not really fearing anything, but I feel like person B is fearing 
like, well, is this going to work out or not? Like, are we going to fail at this? Um, is this just pure lust and temptation and like, am I making the wrong choice just because I want to do ya, do ya, do ya, you know, cause I do feel a lot of passion here. I feel like somebody's coming out of their skin. They just want, they like, seriously, I feel like I just want to take control over the situation. I just want to push you against the wall and ravage you. Um, because I'm definitely getting sexual energy out from this, but this is take charge energy, and I kind of feel like person B is going to be very turned on by the fact that person A is so take charge because they haven't been, so it's like, whoa, this is a new side to you. I think I like it. I like it a lot. Um, so there will be success in this situation. I feel like this is giving someone your undivided attention, making them feel like the only fucking person on this planet, like they're the only one in your existence. Like, that's how you're going to make this person feel. Um, that's how you do make them feel, and that's how they make you feel. I do feel like for a long time, both of you were too afraid to take charge because you were afraid that it could just be for lust. It just could be lust, you know, for hot, passionate night, like, in and out, you know, fuck boy, fuck girl energy, because you've dealt with people like that in the past, and so have they, so it's kind of like, do I really want to take this risk, is this really going to work, are we really going to be successful, is this more than just sex, is it a practical new beginning, is this a connection that will last, is this a soulmate connection, or is this just for sex, I kind of feel the questioning, the back and forth, and I feel like both of you have questioned that, but it, there's more to it than sex. That, that's the fear of this because you've dealt, when you've taken risks in the past or when person B did, uh, I feel like when both of you took risks like this in the past, it was just for lustful reasons. It wasn't practical. It wasn't, um, it didn't last. It was a mistake, basically. This is not a mistake. I feel like you guys will work very well together. You just got to choose. Are you in or are you out? And if you're in, you're all in. Um, and I feel like both of you want this. I mean, this is nostalgia, soulmate energy. You've known this person for a long time. Um, I feel like one of you did offer this connect, this connection, this commitment in the past. And it was turned down in the past. And I feel like there was an opportunity for the two of you to get freaky freaky um you know to get to get wild between the sheets and somebody didn't accept that offer they were like I don't know because if I do this I know that I'm I'm not going to be able to walk away from you kind of energy so it's like I don't think I can do it so somebody got turned down for sex either person B turned person A down or person A turned person B down in the past. I kind of feel like person A or Aries turned person B down because they didn't they didn't want to get invested because I feel like there were feelings here, but it's like I'm not ready to commit. I, I can't do this because I've got, you know, this shit going on in my life and I don't want to hurt you kind of energy. And now I feel like, fuck it, I don't care anymore about whoever's around me. I don't care about my situation. You know, I can't stop thinking about you. I want, I want to be intimate with you. So this is more than just sex. Um, but I feel like that sense of rejection is probably why person B isn't taking action and why they're kind of in the five of cups energy thinking that it's a lost cause. It's not. And that's probably why person A is going to take charge and fly the fuck in. Um, out of nowhere. So yeah, I feel like this is going to be very successful. It's going to work out in you guys' favor and you're just overcoming your fears and in doing so, you're pushing this other person's fears out the window, which is beautiful. I'm going to get you some advice and then we're going to call it. Shit. That's awesome though. So it could have been sexually based in the beginning because I was talking about bad habits and addictions and stuff. And sex can be an addiction as well for someone. Um, that would be a mas masculine energy if that's the case. Male, female, doesn't matter, but I'm kind of seeing a man who, you know, kind of got around. Um, and he could have Aries in his chart or be an Aries. So not all Aries are that way, but I'm kind of seeing that someone is. And um, they weren't ready to settle down. So it kind of, I feel like that person or Aries or person A broke 
person B's heart because they didn't move it forward. And um, it was like sex only, you know? But that's not the case. The reason why that person didn't do ya, do ya, do ya, or why you didn't do them is because you actually value that person and you respect them enough not to not to hurt them in that way. And now, now you can't stand it. You want to be with them. So you were led by some desires or they were, you know, lust, the devil energy in the past. Maybe that you want to right your wrongs, you know, be healthier and respect that person. The lady of the gift, generosity, receiving and withholding 20 reversed. I feel like you can't hold back no more is pretty much what, <laughs> what the main message of this is, is like, nope, I've restrained myself long enough. I'm coming in. <clears throat> And like I said, person B might think it's just for sex, but I don't think it is. The lady of the gift says that the act of withholding isn't welcome in her world. In fact, withholding information is another way to lie. I always say that withholding information is tangible to lying. Are you doing this? Hiding your feelings, holding back what you want, your, your hopes, your wishes, your desires, holding back the fact that you want person B or vice versa. Because person B is really holding back. Um, but I feel like you're going to push it out of them, Aries. Or person A is. Perhaps someone is doing it to you, withholding something in order to keep you manipulated and controlled so you believe deep down you're not quite good enough. That's how person B is feeling. And I kind of feel like person A is taking charge because they don't like the fact that person B is so sad without them. Because they're seeing it. Like, like I want to make you happy. I don't want to make you cry. I don't want to be the reason for your tears. You know, something like that. Um, now is the time for you to address the concept of withholding. If, if you see this in any aspect of your life, it's time for change. Giving to others with the idea of getting something in return is also being warned against here. The best way out of this mere mire, mire, is to give with honesty and with, and with an open heart and without expectation. The lady of the gift challenges you to be generous generous and compassionate you can always start again and that's what's going on here you are starting again i feel like we're having a do-over because shit didn't go according to plan the first time you know feelings got hurt people were misguided misled they're you know you're lying about your feelings keeping your feelings in the dark because i felt that i felt like both of you were doing that but i do feel like one did express themselves at least a little bit and the other person didn't but now whoever didn't share their feelings is like let's go I'm ready. Um, so I do feel like someone's approaching you or you are fucking flying towards someone because the wait is over is what I feel. I can't wait no more. I want you in my life. You know, I don't want to sit here and pout and think about all the shoulda, coulda, wouldas when I could take action right fucking now is what I feel. But that's what I have for you. Hopefully it makes sense. Hopefully it helps. These messages aren't for everyone, but I know it's for someone. <laughs> I love you long time. Peace.